Hey guys and welcome back to another video. On today's video, I'm going to be making the famous Christina Tosi Milk Bar Birthday Cake. Now, if you'd like to follow along, I've included the link to the recipe in the description down below. So I'm actually making this cake for my actual birthday, which is three days from today. This cake has a lot of steps and a lot of components, so therefore I am spreading it out over the next two to three days in order to make it easier and stress-free on me because it's a lot to do. Today I want to be starting off with the birthday crumb. The birthday crumb is going to be going in between each layer of cake as well as on the top of the cake. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see right here, I have all my ingredients already set out. I think it's much easier when you pre-set out all of your ingredients because then you can just throw everything in the mixing bowl and you're ready to go. I have the recipe right here. This is my first time doing this by the way. So I'm going to combine my sugar, which I have sugar here, and I have brown sugar as well. Here's my cake flour, my salt and my baking powder, and finally, sprinkles. So we're gonna mix it on low speed until well combined. That looks well combined to me. Now I'm gonna add the grapeseed oil as well as my clear vanilla. So we're gonna mix this until it forms small little clusters. Also, did you guys notice my apron? <laughs> All right, so I got my birthday crumb and I got it onto my baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I have also preheated my oven to 300 degrees. So here are my birthday crumbs. So I took the birthday crumbs with my hand and I formed a lot of these little balls. So I wanna have some nice large clusters that I'm gonna be able to have on top of the cake for decoration as well. Now we're gonna stick this into our oven and we're gonna bake it for 15 minutes. All right guys, here are my birthday crumbs. I had a little bite, it was really nice and crunchy. You wanna try a bite? Let's try that little baby one right there. Mm, that's, mm, ah, that's really good, that's like um, the yummy, right? Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be in between each layer of cake. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be baking the actual cake layers. And then the following day, we're gonna be doing the frosting and then the assembly part, which I am nervous about. So I have placed my birthday crumbs into a Tupperware with a lid, and now I'm gonna store these in the fridge until I'm ready to use them. Really quick, I just wanted to thank everyone who sent me a gift to my P.O. box. Um, I have like one, two, three, four packages that I received Today. Really quickly, I'm just gonna start off with this one. I got this from my friend Carl, one of my subscribers from LA, and it's a Disney Pride sweater, which I absolutely love, and I actually can't wait to wear this for when it gets cold. Yeah, and it also came with an awesome like little Mickey Pride pin. Also, thank you Carl for my Mickey ears. I said in a video that I didn't have Mickey ears, so he sent me some Mickey Pride ears. <laughs> What do you think? Do they look good? Yeah, they look really good. <laughs> Thank you, Carl, for this. Next thing is gonna be from Yolanda from Santa Monica, California. Okay, <laughs> you are gonna love this thing. Mint Milano's. Yes! John's favorite. I love them too, but John really, really loves them. M&M's. This is making me hungry already. Earl Grey tea, my favorite. She paid attention. So lots of little snacks for our road trip for when we go to Orlando oh, yeah. in a couple of days. Ooh, I, I'm curious to try the Oreo Thin Latte flavor. Hand sanitizer, which, you know, you can't have enough hand sanitizer right now. Whoa. Oh, this is from Disneyland. Oh, nice. Oh, well, yeah, California. Let's see what's inside. They look like they're plates. Oh, I thought it was cookies. <laughs> you know those little Danish butter cookies? That's what I thought yeah. it was. Oh, these are nice little plates. Oh, these are really Disneyland. nice. Yeah, very nice. An awesome gift. Thank you so much, Yolanda, for writing me this card and for sending me all these yummy snacks. We're definitely going to be eating them on the way to Orlando in a few days from now. Now down here, we have another box, and this is from Matt from Vero Beach, Florida, which is not very far away. It's actually really close to Disney. Actually, they, there's a DVC resort there. There is a DVC resort there. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. All right, let's see here. Oh, this is a really nice card. Our bling bling Darth Vader. Oh, wait. Move it is a little. Is that Darth Vader? It, uh, no, it's a Stormtrooper. Bling bling Stormtrooper. Trooper. All right, people, you, you got to tell him to watch Star Wars. He has yet to watch it, and he has no clue about that anything. It's a really nice card. Francesco and John, here's a housewarming gift for you. Happy birthday. I believe we have the same birthday. Thank you. I love this card. Let's see what we have in here. Whoa, what is this? 
a Star Wars Instant Pot. This is pretty cool. So it's a pressure cooker and it's a Star Wars edition. A uh, crock pot, lovely. Which is really cool because we actually don't have a pressure cooker. Oh wow, this is really nice. And Gio's getting super excited here because he wants to eat the box. Yeah, Gio loves the box. Look at that. <laughs> and there's more and there's Star Wars spatulas. Now I have to be honest, and I think you just said, but I've never watched Star Wars. However, I do think Star Wars merch is really cute. I'm gonna try to get him to watch the first three because I think that's the most important. I'm gonna make it a project that he's gonna sit through and watch them with me. We'll see about that. <laughs> you will watch it. I just don't have the attention span to sit through a lot of Star Wars. It's really good. Oh, that's really nice. Look at those Star Wars specials. So who's who's this guy at the bottom? Yoda. Okay, who's the, who's this guy on the top? Darth Vader. See, I know the characters. All right, well, that's, a, that's not bad. And there's one more back there. Oh, it just says Star Wars. And, uh, <laughs> oh no, it's R2-D2. Oh yeah, I, I know R2-D2. Let's move over here. Here we have a ice cream maker that we got from our friend Ivan, who always sends us amazing gifts. So thank you so much, Ivan, for sending us this ice cream maker, I guess. I guess he watched my no-churn recipe where um, we didn't have an ice cream maker, but now we do. This is a really awesome gift because we love ice cream, especially John loves ice cream. He also sent these really cute ice cream sundae, what would you call it, like waffle cone, like kind of like bowl, and it comes with this cute spoon. Oh, nice. And look at the color in them. So each one's different, right? The yeah, color? so there's four of them and each one has a different color. So thank you, Ivan, as well. Thank you, Matt. And thank you, Yolanda. Thank you, Carl, for sending me all these awesome gifts. Also, thank you to Mel and Sean, who sent me a Disney gift card that I'll be able to use when I go up for my birthday. So thank you to everyone. Again, I am truly grateful and appreciative that you would do something like this for us. So thank you. On my behalf, thank you as well to all of you. And happy birthday to this guy. Yay. And we are back for day two, which is gonna be baking the actual cake. I have all my ingredients set up. We have a lot more ingredients, it seems like, today than we did yesterday. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add our sugar. We're also gonna add our shortening and our butter. We're gonna put that in there. We're gonna beat it for a good two to three minutes. So now we are gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl. And we're gonna add our eggs and then beat it again for another five more minutes. So take a look in here. You see how lovely and like fluffy that looks? Can you see that? How pretty? So now we're gonna stream in our buttermilk, our oil, and our vanilla extract on very low speed. All right guys, so take a look in there. We have a very silky, lovely batter. So now we're gonna finish off and we're gonna add our dry ingredients, which is gonna be some cake flour, salt, and our baking powder, and then our sprinkles. Now we're gonna mix this just until it all comes together. Pretty much all come together now. Now you can see there's flour along the side. I'm just gonna fold that in with my spatula just because I don't wanna overbeat it. All right, as you can see here, my batter is ready to go. Let's taste a little bit, shall we? Tastes like cake batter. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'll try it. Mmm, it tastes like those, the box cake batter. I think that's what they want it to taste like. All right, so now as you can see here, I have a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I have buttered it, and now I'm gonna pour my entire batter into this pan. All right guys, so I got all of my batter here on my baking sheet. So I didn't follow the exact measurements that were on the recipe. I didn't double the recipe, but I 1.5'd it. I don't know how to say that. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. But I didn't want to double the recipe because that would be too much, but I also didn't want to use the exact measurements from the recipe because I wanted it to be a little bit more cake than the recipe. So this was a perfect amount for this pan. Now my oven is preheating to 350 degrees and we're gonna cook this for 30 to 35 minutes. In it goes. A few moments later. Guys, I forgot to add the sprinkles to the top, so I'm actually doing it while it's still in the oven. Luckily, I remembered like two minutes after I put it in. It's hot in there. All right guys, so as you can see here, it looks like my cake was a little bit overcooked or overdone. Look at it, it's a little dark brown. But let's see the inside. So I have my cake ring. It's about a seven inch cake ring. So we got one piece there. 
And then for our third layer, we're gonna cut off scraps from here. All right, so here are our cake rounds. All right, just the bottom is dark, the top is nice and white. The inside looks good, so maybe it's not overcooked. I think we can still salvage it. So here are our pieces of cake, our cake rounds. And then let's try and see if we can form our circle here. Almost a perfect circle, so we'll have to take a little bit. We'll be able to like put a little bit of that in there. All right, guys, so here are our three cake layers that we're gonna use for our cake. Now, tomorrow, we're actually gonna assemble the cake and I'm going to be making the frosting as well. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge for overnight and then we'll get back to this tomorrow. What you doing there? These cake scraps are amazing. This recipe is such a good cake recipe. The inside is perfect texture. It's very moist on the inside. This actually came out perfect. I was worried that it was overdone. Just the bottom is a little brown, but the cake itself is actually cooked perfectly, I think. What do you think? Uh, it's, it's really good. I've been like eating these. All right guys, we're back here. It is day three. We're finally gonna make our frosting. So our frosting has shortening, butter, and it has cream cheese. And we're just gonna mix it on high for about two to three minutes. All right, that looks silky, smooth, and glossy white to me. Now we're gonna add our vanilla, as well as our corn syrup. So this recipe also asks for glucose, which I don't have, so I'm gonna leave that out, but Corn syrup should be fine. All right, we've added all that in. Now we're just gonna scrape down the sides of our bowl and we're gonna beat it a little longer. All right, so I've been beating this for about two to three minutes. Now we're gonna add our citric acid, our salt, and our baking powder, as well as our powdered sugar. All right, the moment that we've been waiting for is here. It is finally assembly time. It is the most exciting part of the whole entire process. It's putting it all together. So as you can see here, I have my cake rounds. This is gonna be the bottom layer of the cake that I pieced it all together from the remaining scraps that we had left over of cake. This is my beautiful white, delicious birthday cake frosting. I have my birthday cake crumbs, and then here is my birthday cake soap, which is just milk and vanilla extract. So the main part about this is gonna be the cake ring that we're gonna use, and I also have a strip of acetate. I have two strips of acetate. I'm gonna place it right inside of my cake ring, just like so. I'm gonna place a little bit of frosting at the very bottom of the cake, just like that, so it can stick to the cake, will stick to the cake board. All right, so here we have our cake, our bottom cake round. So I'm just gonna stick this in the inside here. And there is our first layer of cake. Now, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our birthday cake soak. So we're gonna put a little bit of this all over the top layer of the cake. So we've done that. Now we're gonna put a layer of our frosting, which is right over here. I'm gonna use this, put one of those in there. We'll do about a scoop and a half. So as you can see right here, we have our first layer of icing. And now we're gonna put our first layer of our birthday crumbs. All right, so we have our first row of birthday crumbs as you see right here. Now we're gonna add another layer of frosting right on top. All right, now we're gonna move on to our next layer of cake. One more layer of birthday cake crumbs. All right guys, I think that I overdid it with the frosting. I am out of frosting, so I'm gonna have to make some more. Luckily, I'm at my last layer of cake. I'm gonna stick that right in here. I've added my final piece of acetate as well. Push that right in there. 
All right, in the meantime, I'm gonna make some more frosting. So I made a little bit more frosting this time. But I recommend if you guys are making this at home, make a little more frosting because you tend to put a lot in between each layer of cake. Luckily, I'm on my final layer of cake. I've already put my milk, my birthday cake soap on here. Put some of that. Now I'm gonna have leftover frosting, which I'll make cake pops with. So I have finished icing the top layer of my cake. Now we're gonna add some of our birthday crumbs along the top. These birthday crumbs are a great addition because they have a really good texture and they're very crunchy. They're almost kind of like a cookie, I would say. In fact, I think people will be fighting over these birthday cake crumbs because they're so good. And then of course we have some more sprinkles and we want to add some sprinkles to the top to really finalize that birthday cake look. Because what's a birthday cake without sprinkles, am I right? And that, my friends, is how you make a classic Christina Tosi birthday cake from Milk Bar. And I got my little handkerchief on my head just the way she does, as you can see. So now I'm just gonna stick this into the freezer and we're gonna leave it there until tomorrow, my birthday. If you guys wanna see what the cake actually looks like and what it tastes like when it comes out of the freezer, you'll have to subscribe and turn on notifications and watch, because it'll be on my next video. My next video will be my birthday video. And that'll be the video where I show what my cake looks like and where we actually actually taste test the cake. Be sure to subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. If you have tried this cake, if you're gonna try this cake, let me know. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.